like I hope Instagram and all this world never actually ends because I don't know how I'm ever going to go back to doing <laughs> something like normal. Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Girls With Goals, episode number 104. I actually can't believe it. I'm Denise Curtin. Today I'm joined by a very artistic couch. I've got makeup artist and influencer Aideen Kate and tattoo artist Neve Cunningham. Hi girls. Hi. Hi. I can't believe it's both your first time on the show. Yeah. I know. Are you excited? Very excited to be here. Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Um, You both have careers that people are so interested in and, you know, people will be really watching you, what you do. Neve, firstly, tell me what, briefly, what would a normal week be like for you? A normal week? um, Seven days long. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no, I literally work um, every day. Um, It's appointments every day, consultations every day. You're meeting new people all the time and... um, yeah, it's just just full on, pretty yeah. much. You know, there's no there's no time limit on the day either. Like you you could go in, you could start at ten, and you don't know when you're gonna get out really either. Like so, it's it's pretty much of a it's it's a full time full time job. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like it's one as well we don't like know enough about. Yeah. If you get me, because like obviously you know there's tattoo artists in yeah. every city, but like hearing exactly what you do is so interesting. So would, yeah. would each week change or would you be in the studio mainly? I'm in the studio all the time. Yeah, um, yeah no, I'm full time with clients at the moment because um, it's just myself and we have a resident, resident artist there as well and some other guest artists. So to keep a business going, you have to really put your whole self into it. So yeah, um, yeah you're in there in the morning and you're prepping your design, then you're waiting for your client. Client comes in and then the whole day begins and they're there. Most of the time we do full day sittings. So mostly people are there for eight hours, nine hours at times. And then you're cleaning up at the end of the day and then you're just organising your appointments for the next day. It's just a rollover pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty intense. A lot of people don't see it, what goes into everything we do. You know, they like behind the scenes and design work and everything like that as well. So there's there's so many different elements to it. Jeez, yeah. yeah. It's great though. It is. You have to really love it to do it, you know, but it is. It's great. I feel like that's the same with both of your fields because I know you, between the influencing as well, you're always on the go yeah. and you seem to be like in a different city, in a different country every time I'm looking I at your Instagram. Too. Do you find that you need to like keep a balance between like all the events that you do as well as like your beauty work as well or is there a, a role yeah, over between the two? Yeah, so like for me, my main focus is always like the makeup and trying to get my makeup content done and like once I get that done, then I'll give myself a bit of time to go to the events but like recently, I've just been doing so much travelling. Like I've, like, I'm so grateful, like, I've yeah. been given such amazing opportunities, mm. but it's just been hectic. Like, I think last weekend was my first weekend home in, like, over a month. So it was just, like, really full on. But, I like, you can't complain, you have to take it when it's coming. You know, that See, kind you of do, way. you do. Because then there'll be, like, an empty week and you'll be exactly. sitting there thinking, I was so stressed about all the work I was doing. Yeah. And now I'm so chill. Yeah. yeah. And, like, even come January now, like, I don't know if you're the same, but it's dead. Like, yeah. it's, like, a, like it's like most places. January yeah. is just quiet. So it's trying to take everything now while it's there. Because yeah. you just don't know if it's going to still be there in a, a month's time or whatever. <laughs> like, and do you find that it speeds into Christmas? It's probably the same oh for both of you. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the year has just gone away Same. from me altogether. Like, because appointments come in like they're a few months ahead, so yeah. you're constantly looking in your book, and it's like, right now, what's well, October, and I'm already like booking December, or January. So you feel like in your yeah. head, you're already in that yeah totally. time of year. Like it's meant that the year has just flown by. Like I yeah, it's, I'm the same. I was only saying that to someone yesterday. I was like, I can't believe it's like nearly November yeah. now. Like yeah. it's just gone away. This I whole know. year, it's just flown. Yeah, yeah. it's wild. And it's the most exciting thing. It's great that I have you on at this time because Halloween is yes. literally around yeah. the corner, and I feel like Halloween is the perfect time to leave your creative yes. flair fly. Yeah, if you could even <laughs> say that. <laughs> but yeah, it's so exciting. And first thing gonna go to you because you are like the queen of Halloween on Instagram. <laughs> the um, pictures that you put up are absolutely phenomenal. Tell me a little bit about like the inspiration behind finding something to do. I actually sometimes I find it really hard and sometimes it's like the easiest thing in the world. Like you're probably the same yeah. as like when you're trying to like draw something or whatever. It's like sometimes I'll just literally be lying in bed and I'll get an idea in my head and I'm like oh my god write that down. Like if you could see the notes in my phone really? it's just like <laughs> It's like an explosion. Um, but that's kind of where, and then obviously Instagram is amazing for inspiration. Yeah. Like I sometimes would see a look someone did and then I'll be like, oh, I really like that part. I'm going to do that, but put this twist on it. So it's like my own. I always try to make it my own somehow. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and it's just, I love Halloween. It's so much fun, but it's the most stressful time of the year at the same time. Yeah, because I saw <laughs> you put up a thing about going to the Anastasia Beverly Hills party. Yeah. And you were saying that you were stressed looking uh, yeah. to think of what to wear. Because yeah. I'm literally going next week and I'm like, I still don't know what I'm doing notepads and like it's a huge party like all like I looked up like last year's and like the Kardashians were there Jeffree Star was there wait so is this in America it's in LA yeah 
Do you yeah, I'm in so the right field. No pressure. Yeah. No, no pressure. <laughs> I know. I was like, ah, what are we going to dress up as? Like, yeah. It's so scary. And time has just gone so fast. And because I'm going to LA next week, there's still a week before Halloween. So I'm trying to like backtrack all my looks so I can So that you have still them. stuff going out. So yeah. I'm literally at the moment, like from today till next week, I'll be doing two looks a day on top of everything else. And do you ever find that like, because, you know, we see the finished product on yeah. Instagram and it's perfect and it yeah. looks amazing. But have you ever like done a look and then be like, this is so bad, oh God, I can't yeah. post this. <laughs> the other day I spent six hours and like, I, when I got to like towards the end, I was like, I just, this is just not working. Really? I kept going with it anyway. I took the photos. I have the photos, whether they get posted or not, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But like, it's just like, look, it happens. Like, yeah. and I think sometimes as well, when you're having a bit of a block and you try to force something, that's kind of what happens as well. So like, I think... I'm just going to tone it down a little bit. Like, I think I had too many ideas and I tried to put them all into one. Whereas, like, if I had it just done one element of that whole look, it probably would have looked way better. Yeah. So sometimes my mind just goes low. Crazy. Yeah. I'm like that myself. Yeah. And just run away with yeah. you. Yeah. You know, there is such thing as too many ideas. And yeah. they do all come together and it's just it's yeah. a hot mess. And Halloween for you, how do you find, do you find that, like, when it gets to Halloween, do people go for more, like, spooky tattoos or do people still just... Continue Personally, working. in my shop, not so much because like we just work by appointment only. Okay. So a lot of the people that come in in October have been booked in maybe two or three months prior. Okay. So it's just general and um, continuous work what they're getting done. But um, we have noticed that a lot of people are asking for more spookier portraits or okay. whatever around that time. You know, like Edward Scissor Hands or like there's no a f way. there's yeah. a good bit of that going on in the shop That's at the moment. Mad, isn't yeah. It? yeah, it's really cool and like I love doing all that. So I'm like welcoming it over. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's perfect. Um, like a lot of shops maybe would do like a Halloween flash or so for smaller designs and people can come in on the day and get them done. Like okay. that's, um, there is a lot that, of that that goes on and people do kind of get quite festive, I suppose. You know, yeah. Halloween. And, you know, yeah, and definitely, get, definitely. Yeah. And then like what happens, like I'm sure it doesn't happen in your tattoo studio, but like if someone like, if you do a tattoo and someone they're like, I don't like it, what <laughs> happens then? Yeah, I'm sure it has happened yeah. a lot now. Like nowadays, like a lot of, the, the clients, they see their tattoos before they're getting, they see the design work fully okay. um, before they're getting it done. You know, there's a lot of stuff we can do to show people, to give them the best idea possible of what's going to look like when it's finished. Is that like uh, a stencil? Kind yeah, of well, thing? the stencil yeah. always goes on, first of all. Um, but we do have, like, obviously we use our iPads and stuff like that, you mm -hmm. know, for doing, especially if you're doing graphic graphic designs or whichever, you know, and you can actually impose them onto the body parts, you know. So it's not the full idea of what it's going to be like, oh. but it's close enough. Yeah, so no yeah. one's going to get too... Too much of a Okay, so it's yeah. not like a shock, like I thought it was going to no. be this small, it's this big. Yeah. No, no, okay. Jesus, it's not like close your eyes and hope for the best. No, it's <laughs> like it. Thank God. Gee, I, I wouldn't be able to do the job otherwise. But no, thankfully, that part of it is eliminated, you know, it does be grand. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, that's good. That, that yeah. gives you some kind of like peace of mind as well. Yeah, that you're not course. like looking with one eye thinking, are they going to like it? Are yeah. they going to hate this? I yeah. mean, yeah, I mean, they probably could come across a few characters that do change their mind mid tattoo, but that's not really. It's not if we show you the design work, we show you everything. Yeah. That's what it. you want, so that's what you're getting. Like, like I know, yeah. you, can't, you can't wipe it off. So. No, you can't. <laughs> so you do hope, you do hope. Permanent. Yeah, I know, luckily a lot of the, the people that we tattoo are quite heavily tattooed and we're quite confident in tattooing them because of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they, they, they know what they're, 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 they're getting. Yeah. They know yeah. their yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. good. And then I feel like with Halloween, because it's such a creative time of the year, like it can be, I say there's a lot of pressure with it too, especially in your field. Do you find that because like you put up so many Instagram posts and they're all absolutely unbelievable do you find like pressure to continue on like getting bigger and better or do you try and like you know tell yourself that like they're all as good as each other like don't panic yeah like I suppose like it's not that I'm trying to like compete with myself but it's like once you set the standard with one if the next one isn't as good or doesn't have that way factor it's gonna flop Okay. Because you're comparing it to, yeah, you know, okay. you're only as good as your last work, like, do you know what I mean? Fair. So, like, yeah, there is that kind of element of pressure. Like, when I do one that got a really good reaction online, I am in my head, right, what can I do to get it just as good, yeah. if not better? Yeah, because you want to keep up that, like, your reputation. Like, yeah. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like, yeah, like, because... It's, it's kind of frustrating, I find sometimes, because like, you, and you're probably in the same, mm. like, you know what you're capable of. And it's like, sometimes when you can't portray that, it's like really frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, I get annoyed at myself. Sure. I'm like, oh my God, I know I can do better than this. Like, yeah. You know? Yeah. And the thing is, is that like, sometimes the simplistic looks look as amazing as the like really crazy looks. Yeah. Because the simplistic ones are ones that people can actually probably like recreate at home. Yeah. Whereas the crazy ones that are like that kind of Instagram wow factor that yeah. maybe like, if you're like extremely talented, not me yeah. now, but you could, <laughs> you could try and do it, you know? So like there is, I can imagine. Imagine there is that kind of like ongoing pressure then to 
try and like be better than your than your last yeah breath. pretty much like mm -hmm. that's like it's just a constant problem in my head I'm yeah. just, like, I think trying. a lot of people think it gets easier maybe the more well known you get in a way like it's, oh, no, it's you've built it's your, yeah the, the more pressure is there like yeah. you can't relax at all you have to triple up the answer because the whole that's time. the thing yeah, people yeah. like even you're like oh your looks are amazing I'm yeah like, right okay yeah, you that. I'm like, yeah. right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so it, yeah you're so more right. is expected of you right yeah. you're so as well, you know, and, like, yeah the more known you get the more because I think expected with a lot of makeup artists it's one look I suppose that gains them loads of attraction yeah. and loads of followers and then people get hooked on following them yeah. waiting for the next one yeah. so it's, it's there's that panic as well obviously yeah 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 totally but it's worth it once you know yeah. it, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. You get to relax and yeah. spend hours taking off the makeup or whatever. Yeah. Like as <laughs> much as I absolutely yeah. love Halloween, I'm like kind of excited for November. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I'm like, when's it going to be? a bit of a chill. Yeah. Yeah. But I love it. I really do get such a kick out of it. And it's such a good like time to like challenge yourself as a yeah. makeup artist, I think. Because you're really pushing yourself, like trying to just do something so different than what you would normally do. Yeah. Even though I do try to throw in the odd like creative makeup look here and there because I feel like that's just the way Instagram is now. Like yeah. you have to kind of do stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's full on. Because I find with Halloween as well every year, you can never, like if it's, you know, January, you can never predict the looks that are going to occur no. at Halloween because like what happens in pop culture is often reflected in Halloween. Like 100%. I was even seeing there online, like people were going as like Rebecca Verdi's account. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I was like, that's what's going to happen now. There's going to be loads of Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Verdi's like yeah. walking around like best friends trying to like that's yeah, the thing. fake fight each other, you know? Yeah. So I was like, there's going to be a lot of tea, I find. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it also goes off like movie trends and stuff yeah. as well. Like the Joker has been a huge one yeah. going around. Yeah. It, like Massive. all them ones. Yeah, so it just depends what movie. We don't know what's going to be out next yeah, we year. Don't. So we just we have don't. to wait. Yeah, I know. That's the exciting thing because yeah like that like it like I remember even when Sia's music video for Chandelier came out yeah, so many people huge. were wearing the little blonde wigs and the nude body yeah. suit like we're brave enough but yeah <laughs> there was loads of that you know so it definitely kind of follows you can't predict you it, can't yeah. predict yeah. you really really can't no and like you were saying about the pressure do you find it as well maybe if someone gets like like a tattoo that they absolutely love that you did and they come back and they're like you were so good I need to get another one is yeah. there that fear do you know what there's fear and then there's like comfortability with it you yeah know, because you know that that person's happy you've kind of you've spent the whole day with them maybe a few days with them if you've done consultation process and all you know and you've built kind of a relationship with that person so you're kind of chill when they come back in it's more so say if someone comes in who has seen that work and they're like oh my god I yeah. love the tattoo you've done but this is a total new person and you don't know what their views or ideas are they could say they want something totally opposite to what I've done they're kind of going even though we can branch out we can do yeah. all these different styles you know what they have in their head is that person's tattoo. Yeah. yeah. So are you gonna like? So there's uh, there's already a standard there that is you don't know if you can meet it because it's on a totally different person. You know they have different views and they have different wants and everything like that. So it's a little bit nerve wracking. But once you sit down with people and you have a proper chat with them, that's all it takes really to yeah. kind of get on the same plane. You yeah. Know? And then you're yeah. grand. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. No, because yeah. like you would have structured that t tattoo for someone else and then yeah. for someone else to come in being like, that was fab. Now I want this. It's like, okay, I haven't yeah. even met you properly. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like literally yeah. like that. Yeah. And then you already know the, the expectations there, which is also great because there's a level of trust that's there as well yeah. because they have seen your healed work and they've seen yeah. and they've heard good things, hopefully good things. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. um, well, they're there obviously, so they're, they're there for a reason. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I, I, I think it's grand, like, you know, I do be quite relaxed with it. It's yeah. be fine. Thankfully, and, and, and thankfully. And rightly so, your work's amazing. So Thanks you very should much, be, You should be that. as relaxed Cheers. as can be. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was looking at some of the trends, right? Um, where do we have it? Okay, so some of the tattoo trends. So I was looking, there was over a billion searches on Pinterest for tattoos. Like, oh, Pinterest. Wow. Yeah. A billion. <laughs> I think you have so like much like Pinterest. Like breaks my heart a little it bit. Because yeah. 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 again, people come in with these, like, oh, I mean, like, mini tattoos like that. I'm that like, can't be that I literally, literally have like a tiny Lads, They little. can't be done like, well, they can be, but I mean, if you want no, them I to know, last I well know. over the years, yeah. and a lot of them probably aren't even real, like they're just, no. like they're edited in or, you know, yeah. they're so, so tiny and it's like on their baby finger or something. You're like, yeah. I can't, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> like, I can't yeah. do something that intricate on a yeah. finger that small. I mean, I can no. do, but will it last? I'm not too sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you can tell me if you think these are big trends too. So on Pinterest, um, on the up was red ink tattoos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they're big? If they're getting a little love heart or if they're getting something written, they do. But it's different skin tones you have to be careful with. Sometimes mm -hmm. red looks like brown in some people's skin. Or if you get a tan, it like, so people think change. it. Yeah, yeah so. because like that again, I was like, look, you're wearing tattoos on Instagram. I was like, oh, they're gorgeous. Because it's like someone's finger, like yeah. perfectly placed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like some I model. Like, oh, I was like, I might want that. I was like, hmm. Yeah, it's different. Um, treaty tattoos. 
Sorry. Tree D tattoos? Oh, tree D tattoos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, I you said tree Yeah, I just said tree. I was like, really? Tree <laughs> D tattoos. Tree um, D tattoos. Uh, yeah. Um, really? There's a lot of different ways you can do that. And like, okay. I mean, like, the portrait can be 3D. Like, that's just, it's just adding dimension. You want something to look like it's standing off the skin. Um, but there is like these new tattoos that I've seen. I haven't personally done them myself. Yeah. And they're like, um, say an eclair, you know, chocolate eclair, yeah. sweet sour, like celebration things like on someone's skin, but like a big white highlight around it. So it's literally like a sticker. It looks like a sticker. And it's really cool. I haven't so seen cool. any of them healed oh. in real life or done in, in real life, wow. but I've seen all the Instagram like pictures of it and they're, they're quite cool looking, you know. Yeah. Again, colours, cool. like you have to just be careful on people's skin, I think, yeah. and whites as well. White gets a tan sometimes if you're in the sun. So it can go a little bit yellowy. So you have to be a little bit careful. Um, with that, but I've seen those pictures and they do be like standing off the skin, it's really cool. Yeah, see, so I yeah. suppose on Pinterest again, people are like, I want that, and then this mm. one you'll hate minimalist tattoos. <sighs> These minimalist. Are. I mean, they can be really, really tasteful, like they yeah. can be, you know, and it, but it just it really depends on where they're going on the body. Yeah. It's not, Is that like a, like a the fine line kind of tattoo? Yeah, minimalist. So yeah. it's like all like, well, I presume, yeah, that's this it. Like small the small ones, yeah, the yeah. kind like this. Um, mini portraits mm -hmm. and yeah, mi micro portraits are pretty yeah. much called, and they're, they're all fine line work. So there can be a debate in the tattoo world, like whether they're gonna heal well or like, well, they can heal well, but are they gonna last well over time? Yeah, because they're so small and they've mm -hmm. no room to age, pretty much. But I've seen a lot of them and once they're done well and they're on good parts of the body, like good skin, they're laughing, it's grand, okay. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. And then the top five searches were for small, was the first one. Flower was the second. Yeah, Rose was the third. Sunflower, sunflower was the fourth. Yeah, I'm just laughing because I'm like, small, yeah, me. <laughs> flower, yeah, me. It's Rose, like yeah, that's mine. It, yeah. <laughs> and if you have that on my arm. Sunflower was four and finger was five. Oh, God. Heartbreak in the top five. Do you think the not laugh? Like, they can they do, they can do. I, I have one here that I got done drunk. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like that. It's not so bad. It's, oh, no, it's, it's awful. It's okay. so, <laughs> it's so crooked as well. I'm like, I think it's so tough. Like, if you think about it, you're constantly can't... washing your hands. Yeah. And, and, and the skin is so Your hand gets like... dry all the yeah. time. Like, your hands, your feet, your elbows, your knees. Like, I've seen some people get their hand tattoos um, hand poked, and they're perfect. Yeah. So if they're done with a machine, they can be perfect too, but I've just... I kind of try to veer off again. Now, I have my fingers tattooed, they're grand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but everyone has different skin. Some people have much drier skin. And it depends on their job as well. If yeah. you're constantly wearing gloves, yeah. or if you're constantly washing your hands. Washing yeah. your hands See, these are things the that need to be taken into account. See, I yeah. got this done, I skipped mm -hmm. in off Hollywood Boulevard. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like give me a moon. And they won't say no to you. Yeah. Oh, you're on no. your holidays. No, like, yeah. they won't give say me a moon. No. They're like, yeah. yeah, sure. And then I was like, the next day, like, oh, why? <laughs> why? I was like, you'd <laughs> never know you had it, though. That's the only See, thing. it's hidden this way, yeah. too. So I was like, great. And all my friends got them. So it's like, friendship tattoo. has some. Yeah, I'm trying to do that with my friends at the moment. Really? I'm trying to decide on one. What Seriously, we don't know. None of us can agree on anything. <laughs> Probably there... don't get it yet. Yeah. I mean, we don't know. Yeah, no, no, I know. For a little while, We're yeah. waiting until the perfect moment. So yeah. yeah, yeah. I got two friendship tattoos. I got this one too, a little wave okay. there. Oh, that's nice. And we were sending the tattoos to you, fighting over what we were going to get. Again, we were making up. It was like you know, let's run into this tattoo shop and get it done. Like this is like a cardinal mm. sin. I feel to be doing this, but <laughs> ran in and then we were standing fighting over what we were going to get. Yeah. And the man that Best was like doing our tattoo, he was like. <laughs> This is meant to be a friendship tattoo. We were like, what? Shut up. One sec. <laughs> Went back to fighting. And I was like, you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is not the way it should be done. Do you have tattoos, actually? I have one. Okay. One. So me, my mom, my sister actually got matching tattoos this year. That's oh, cute. lovely. Yeah. Um, so we got a little rose. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, sure. It's on my arm here. Assess the situation. So this is my little tattoo oh, that cute. I have. It's very cute. Um, that's like a minimalist tattoo. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all I kind of want. I want like a couple of them like scattered because mm. like I love tattoos. I think they're stunning. Yeah. But like I just wouldn't like to be covered in them yeah. personally. I think they look really cute cool on some people. I just don't yeah. think I'm that kind of person. I but agree with you. Yeah, like yeah. It's, it's for certain. Like I mean, anyone can get a tattoo and go for it, you know. Yeah. But I understand what you're saying. Like in some people it can like some for some reason, it yeah, and and unreal people, yeah. and I'm just like I just think I'd look like a wannabe if I did that yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, so I want to get loads of little yeah. scattered ones but anyway they're really cute as well like, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, is a great place <laughs> yeah no but we decided to get them because we just actually were all like let's just get a tattoo and we kind of me and my sister kind of said it's my mom joking yeah. and she's like yeah and we're like she's oh. into it we're like okay and um, so my mom and my granny's flower bouquets for their weddings were roses and my mom oh. was like let's do that and I was like okay. that's so lovely see I love that I love when they've got sentimental value as yeah. well. And I think, like you were saying, when you're saying that loads of tattoos wouldn't suit you, I think if you're getting tattoos, and you probably would agree, like you have to be like passionate about mm. what you're getting. Like you, like you want to be proud of like the ink yeah. that you have. Yeah. You know, I think that's so important as yeah, well. Especially, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because totally. it, if it, if you have something on you that you don't like, it can affect your confidence. I've seen it. You know, um, 
with some of my friends or some clients, whatever, mm -hmm. they do have stuff and they haven't maybe fully, fully thought through, like, yeah. and it's on them forever now and they're trying to cover it and, or they're trying to get it removed and that can't be nice, you know, like, so it, you have to be very careful, I think, as well. And like you said, be really committed to it and know that you really want it before you go ahead. Yeah. And it's on you forever, like, yeah, you know, yeah. you feel silly saying that to people, but I don't know if people fully get that. It's yeah, there forever, it's there like, for yeah. Because I think when you go, like, from my experience going in for a tattoo, like, I was just so excited to get a tattoo. I was like, I'm yeah. gonna get a tattoo. The buzz like, of it, yeah. Cool. yeah. And yeah. then now, it's only now, like, I got it at the start of this year, and now I'm like, oh my God, like, that's gonna be there forever. Oh, like, yeah. I will never there. be the same again. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But I want to get one on this side now because I need like Bounce a mat. It it's like yeah. annoying me. I'm like, oh my god, there's nothing here. Yeah, I love like being symmetry. able to see them as well. I think that's fabulous. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I look, being able to look down and be like, oh, like it reminds yeah. you. I think it transports you to a time as yeah. well. Which totally. that's that's very very true. Yeah, I think it's the experience you have when you when you're getting or what you yeah. were thinking or what like stage of your life you're at. That's what all mine are. Yeah, yeah. like not all mine are perfectly done because I've been like traveling and stuff over the past few years but like anytime I look at any tattoo that I've got at that time and I'm you like, know where it's from. brings me right back yeah, yeah. It's can like, I ask you how many do you have a lot like yeah <laughs> I, I'd like to say, like I probably have like one big tattoo now really? two full sleeves full back no way I actually don't have any of the front of me done cool. I have a little one on my collarbone okay and my left foot is done but that was for me practicing completely. yeah and I plan on keep, I'm almost done now I've my neck and all done my head done but your head yeah where? Like, what do you mean? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. What does that say? Uh, Visionaria. It's Visionary in Latin. Cool. Yeah. It's so, so secret as well. See, I like that. Yeah, that's yeah I love that too. I, I, don't, I won't do my face or my throat. And if that's just my preference, it looks so cool on some yeah, people. Like, it's, but it's just for me. It's, I don't think I'll do the front of me. I'm not too sure. Like, yeah. I think I might get my other foot done. Okay. But I like, say, if you're in a dress or in this, like, and you can have your hair down, you can look like you don't have any. I yeah. like that. Like my hands are probably like them up, but even at that, that's just on my thumbs. You can't really. Yeah, yeah and it's it's the rest of your fingers. Like. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm covered most of the time. So I'll be like, tattoo artist, really? And I'm like, but it's all no, there. I think you look like a tattoo artist. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah. That, like cool kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Um, Where's yeah. the source place you got a tattoo? Um, my arse. Oh, yeah, I definitely. Can imagine. And like my. Is your whole tattoo? Yeah, my whole. Like if you did a Cheryl Cole on it. I was literally <laughs> thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no, my, it's all script though as well. It's okay. all script art, but yeah, it's my hives. Eight hours, I think. That was the most recent one, was it? Oh, I got a little on the back of my neck, neck there, like at a convention I recently, but um, yeah. I got it all wrong. And why was this outdoor? Is it just the skin? I thought I was going to be grand because yeah. I've like, I don't like two days in a row on my lower back. Yeah. That was like nine hours each day. And that was horrendous. And I done the same my upper back as well. Like, um, so I was like, eight hours on your bum, be grand. I, I don't, from the first line, I was like, no, what, what am I gonna do? Like, so it was eight hours. Eight, I was grand. Your mom was holding me down. Like, he's and my did friend. And do you like, like the yeah. whole cheek, like down and around, like the whole situation? Yeah, it's like front of my hip all the way around. Oh. To my other side of my hip, I'm oh, down yeah. and under a little bit. Oh God. Yeah. I feel like the kind of like you know the real. Arch the cheek. Yeah. I feel like that would be oh, so kills me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was going mad because obviously, like, the nerves my bum were going, like, because of the pain of it. So he was like, Stop moving. I was like, It's not me. It's yeah, not, yeah. It was, like, my nerves going. Shaking. Yeah, yeah. Um, so eight hours of, yeah, loveliness. And what was the healing like on that? Perfect. Yeah. Like, did you have to, like, wrap it? See, we have. <laughs> like, how does it cling work? film, little cling film mini skirt. No, um, <laughs> we have this stuff called um, Second Skin on Um It's literally like a plaster that stays on for, like, it can stay on for up to five days. Mm -hmm. So like you clean your tattoo and all after you get it done and there's places on you and it's waterproof, you can share and you can do whatever. Oh, so oh. that was ideal for there. Um, it works perfect on my skin. I don't use it on everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, because some people have more sensitive skin than others, yeah. you know. But for that, it was perfect. Five days later, it was healed. I have pretty good skin, though, for healing, thankfully. Yeah. It's worked well in my favour, yeah. <laughs> like, I always think that about Cheryl Cole's, like, roses across the arse. Do you know yeah. the tattoo that That's, she's... That was heavy. The artist who done that was incredible, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 LA, Nico Hurtado. I think okay. a lot of celebrities have gotten work done by him. He's, he's amazing, yeah. Yeah, he's but I was like, I'd love to see it now. Like, I wonder, does that fade? Or does that, like, because it's... It's covered. red and black. It's, it's red, isn't yeah. it? I'm yeah. trying to think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I oh, know it shouldn't. Yeah. Once you look after, I know when you're in the sun and stuff, you have to take care of your tattoos. People forget about that too. And how about then when you're pregnant and stuff like that? Obviously, do they do they? They yes. Stretch? Tattoos can stretch. Your tattoos are on your skin. Your yeah. skin stretches. Your tattoo stretches. That's just that's like you can't really do anything about mm. it. So I said I, I definitely do veer um, women off getting their stomach tattooed if 
they haven't had kids yet, I just planned on having more kids around. And I was like, just wait, just hang yeah. on, like, you know, yeah. um, because it would it'd be worse then. It would totally warp the whole thing. It yeah. just wouldn't be ideal, yeah. It would be so hard to fix. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gosh. just not worth it. I'm like, there's so many other places we can go. Exactly, <laughs> like, yeah. exactly. You know, and like places as well, like, will look just as nice yes. as getting your stomach yeah. tattooed. Yeah. yeah. And then in terms of makeup trends, mm -hmm. um, I feel like this is a question that's asked so often. Like, what are the trends of makeup? Like, smoky eyes, they were big. Are they still a thing? I feel like a smoky eye is always going to yeah, be a I thing. Feel like like, that's no one's like, going to one day be like, smoky eyes are just never going to have I feel like a smoky again. eye is like a little black dress. You know, like yeah, you're always exactly. going to use them. You're always going to have them. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, totally. I love a good smoky eye. Like, especially yeah. for a night out, you can't beat it. Like, you can't beat it, no. You just can't. It's like, and you can, there's so many variations of it you can do as well. Colours, whatever. Mm. Um... I feel like obviously the Euphoria makeup trend was huge, yeah. especially on Instagram. Have you guys watched Euphoria? I only watched recently. Oh that's yeah. wild. I love that. Channel. The soundtrack's unreal. I'm oh, like, so it's where I'm getting paid to promote it. I swear <laughs> to God, I tell everyone to watch it. I'm like, it's so yeah. good. It's so good. But the makeup and that was so cool, and you could see the transition of that into social media was massive. Yeah. Like so many people were just doing all the like kind of the jewels stuck on their face and mm. the real kind of it's real grungy kind of smoky like messy next day kind of a makeup but okay. they're making it look really cool so handy yeah um, no, I <laughs> yeah. my eyes constantly roll over makeup when you're like, like, over, you're like yeah. it's euphoria yeah, yeah it's, exactly. it's, it's meant to be this way um, <laughs> yeah. and then I don't know what else like like I feel like a nude lip is always going to be kind of Key. on trend mm. gloss is kind of big again I feel I love gloss yeah I'm starting to I'm such a mac girl but like I do love yeah. a gloss as well it's just, I kind of do it when my hair's up though. Yeah, I and find when it's, sun, when it's summer because when it's yeah. windy and you get yeah. tired, oh, you just on your hair and it's like. I find it's very airy in the grand day. Yeah, as well, which yeah. I adore. So. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, same. Yeah, same. That um, concert was same. Wild. It was yeah, so good. It's so good. It was just recently, was it? Yeah, yeah it was. Oh, really I went good. two nights. Did you? Yeah, love no yeah, way. I went twice. I actually bought tickets to go once, and okay. then I got <laughs> tickets for another night sent in. Um, and I was like, I, I could sell a set, but could go twice. So <laughs> yeah. I went twice. Yeah, you're dead, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Why I heard not? she was great. Yeah, she, oh, she is was actually amazing. very good. But yeah, because yeah. I was seeing who's at Catan. She put up a, yeah. a thing as well about like trends that she wanted to see come back, and she was saying she wanted to see like pink blusher cheeks come back, yeah. like which is kind of retro as well because I feel like I feel like blush is kind of making is a it? comeback okay. though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And actually, I think dewy skin is also like really like skin in itself is like so trendy right now. Is in yeah. that kind of full coverage look isn't as big. Yeah, big. Yeah. People want their skin to look more glowy and glass like mm. rather than. Like, here is your studio fix, full coverage, blasted all yeah, over your face. Yeah, completely. You know I, mean? I feel like Meghan Markle is, has, like, had an effect on people, you know, like the royals always do. But her, like, minimalist look, yeah. everyone is starting to, like... Like, I'd see it on loads of articles yeah. online as well, that people are, like, trying to recreate that look of having no makeup on. Yeah. With just, like, just skin, skin glowing from within. I get that a lot from, like, looking at the likes of, like, Bella Hadid, Gigi Hadid, Kendall yeah. Jenner. Like, they never... They obviously do have a lot of makeup on, but they never really look cake. Yeah. You know? They always look really just, like... Oh, I'm just like this. I just fresh. have a bit of liner on. Like, yeah. But they yeah. obviously don't. It's that, like, yeah, it's that like it's fresh, that, like post gym glow or something. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's where I always go for yeah. my like, insta yeah. for that anyway, because I'm like, wow. Yeah. What like dream a lot of them. I know. <laughs> they are, they? They're aren't they? insane. They like yeah. Like, I'd be obsessed now with like Bella Hadid and Hayley Baldwin. Hayley, yeah, and their yeah, yeah. style as well is what Same. really gets me. And my Explore page on my Instagram is basically just all their fashion. Like, that's yeah. all I see. I'm like, I have curated this myself. And yeah, it's honestly, so sad. Same. Like, wow, yeah. I was actually just like talking about tattoos. I was mm. actually looking up stuff for Hayley Bieber the other day. I was just on Instagram. She has like 20 tattoos. All the small ones like you? Yeah. 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 That's, but they would like, they'd fit then. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you could get away with it. And she does, like, and, like, there was actual photos of each tattoo, like, obviously, like, real creepy, yeah. like, yeah. paparazzi photos, like, zoomed in. Yeah, yeah. But, like, Behind she did. She had loads of one, like, on her hands, like. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And are they, like, black? She had, like, a, she, I think she has, like, a proper hand tattoo. Oh, very oh. Much. Yeah. Yeah, because I found um, that with, like, Dua Lipa, the same as well. They were like, you won't believe how many tattoos she has. And they're all so discreet like that. Kind of yeah. like you were saying, they're only on show if you want them to be mm -hmm. on show. I, I love that, though. Yeah, I do, I too. Think I think that's the, really that's nice. That's what yeah. I want to do. I want to get more, but I don't want... Like, I want to think, oh, you have tattoos? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. could have loads. They wouldn't seem, like you said, you didn't even know that she had that many, you yeah. know? Um, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Like, my mom and my little sister actually have a lot of tattoos. and no way. None of them are visible, like, at all. Like, cause everyone's always like, did you think you're... Your family would be a lot more covered, and my dad has none. But like my little sister, my mom has a good few, and you wouldn't see them a lot. Yeah. They'd be sitting, at, you wouldn't 
their ribs and their back and everything. You wouldn't no see way. anything, yeah. See, I love that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, it's it's cool. nice though that, like, you know, if people, like, some people obviously lo like, love loads of tattoos and they really suit them. Mm. But then other people want, like, those little discreet ones. And it's lovely that you can kind of, like, yeah. alter There's how you everyone, get tattoos. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, 100%. And then when you find, like, if you're doing people's makeup, what is, like, the most sought after look? Is it, like, a smoky eye? Right, it's smoky eye. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really do makeovers on clients anymore, but when I did, it was literally just like, let's say I got like 10 clients in a day, it'd be like Brent Smoky Eye, Brent Smoky Eye. Like I could literally I think that's do. the only look I know. Yeah. I think yeah. <laughs> and like I get that. And yeah. to be honest, if I was going to get my makeup done, I would ask for the exact same thing. Yeah. 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 It's safe. Yeah. It's nice. You know, it works. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then you get the odd person that would want something different. And you're like, yes. Yeah. Like change Thank up. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So that's like, that's kind of, I love like doing makeup on other people, but I also love what I do now because it's not the same every day yeah and you really... start to appreciate the skill more because mm -hmm. it got to a point where I was kind of like oh my god it'd be like if you had to do like 50 rose tattoos in a go yeah. you'd just be like oh my god like yeah. I can do more than this yeah. <laughs> and I suppose then when you do the odd makeup on one of your friends or something yeah. then you're like oh I love doing people's exactly. makeup because it's not that often exactly yeah. that's it like when I'm doing it on someone I'm like oh my god this is so fun I love doing this but like when you have to do 10 in a row you're like no yeah, because I saw when you did Terry's makeup for a yeah. wedding, like that was absolutely flawless. And like that, you know, because you hadn't been doing like 10 brides that day, you know, it's yeah. like, wow, I get to do my yeah, friend's makeup. Yeah, and I knew it was coming and like it was, we had done a little practice and stuff. So like, yeah, like that was so nice. That was so special to be like there in that morning and stuff as yeah, well. It was lovely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was lovely. Yeah, I'm still she recovering. Looked, yeah, no, she looked like a vision anyway. I was looking oh my God, all the pictures like, online. I can't deal with her. Like, she's yeah. just so good looking. It's a joke. Yeah. No, the two of them combined, they're like Barbie and Ken. I just, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Jesus, wow. I know. And then, obviously, have you been watching um, all the the beauty drama online of the Shane Dawson and um, Jeffree Star? Have you been you. watching it? I know Jeffree Star, but yeah. I really Oh my God, you should. Me you you actually should. Do you watch. follow Shane Dawson? No, I just follow Jeffree. I feel like you'd like Shane Dawson. He's really cool. Yeah. But like, oh my God, it's and just... It's, what's, so they, he, Shane Dawson basically does like documentary kind of things. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, right. And he's doing one with Jeffree Star at the moment. So it's like an insight into his entire life. Right. But it shows he's basically going to bring in a makeup collection with Shane Dawson okay. and it's shown like the process so interesting it's so interesting because Shane Dawson already did a series with Jeffree Star I think it was last year that they did yeah. it and it was basically about like who Jeffree Star is like yeah. in a more okay. in-depth analysis into like how he came to be and how he created the company that he has and basically became a millionaire and it was really interesting so because interesting. you saw such a side to Jeffree Star that you probably didn't know because obviously he's known for creating controversy on Twitter and stuff like this and then you got to see like exactly like the past that he's had and how you know he he's actually was treated so horribly and things yeah. like that by both like you know people in business and also like fans and stuff like that so yeah it was really really interesting but now he's done a continuation series oh, and this is about like really into the beauty world that he's in and so Shane Dawson making a palette with him and it's I'm gripped. I watched the third wait. episode last night and I was just That like, was good. I can't wait for the next. You need to go and watch it. Watch it. On? on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very yeah. Good. So which is great as well because you know it's free to watch but mm. it's just so interesting to just see like you'd be surprised like how many people are like out to get you in the yeah. same industry. But even like the money like he was saying like he on one pallet that he releases like he'll make a 20 million dollar profit. Like, isn't that insane? He's a genius. Yeah. Isn't that a joke? Oh, my God. And then the, like, million-dollar profit comes getting stolen. Yeah. Like, an inside job. Like, someone, like, lasered wow. a hole into, like, his warehouse and, like, stole a million dollars worth. Of it. Like, insane. Yeah. No, it's, it's uh, like... You wouldn't know any of that. Like, you, you know, wouldn't. Yeah. You wouldn't know any of that. But, like, being in the beauty industry yourself, do you ever find, like, cattiness from other, like beauty people maybe maybe not so much yeah. in Ireland maybe a bit yeah. but in the UK or when you travel do you see this kind of side to it not like it's it's a hard one like in Ireland I feel like people aren't really like that like within the industry yeah. people definitely aren't like that like everyone's really silent and everyone's just trying to cheer each other on like um obviously like when you look at the American side of it like it's like it's so like dramatic like mm. it's just not like that here like any time I've ever been like away on a press trip with like a certain brand with other influencers like anyone's only ever been really nice to me so like my experiences have only ever been good to be honest yeah like I'm sure it happens you get the odd one or two that are a bit off but you're gonna get that everywhere yeah um, but anyone I've ever met like have been so so sound yeah like really sound but that's good because when I was watching that series I was like so shocked by how 
Shane and Jeffrey both thought that these stories were getting leaked about them by other influencers or by people yeah. that were jealous that they were releasing a product together and working together and creating all this hype that was maybe mm. dwindling from yeah. someone else's spotlight. Yeah. And I was thinking that's so like, not only is it difficult enough to put yourself in yeah. the spotlight for criticism, yeah. to have people in your industry then try and make it worse for you. I was like, that's just... That's yeah, I think as well, like in America, it's on a bigger scale. Mm. So like it's the money's bigger, the fame is bigger. Everything bigger. is just yeah. like, you know, quadrupled, if not more in size. So like there is that bit more competition yeah. between and everyone. So do you think it shocked you when you watched this where you like, I can't believe there's that side to it? Or did you kind of always knew? Nah, you yeah. kind of know. Yeah. I Like you kind of know just from following these people, like and just hearing past controversies that have gone on and you just see it. Like even there's been so much like YouTube drama in the past year or two. So like it's just kind of, you just kind of expect it. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, I think and it's it's mad because I feel like even five years ago, the beauty world and YouTubers wouldn't dominate the headlines like they do now with the James Charles scandal and everything like that, yeah. you know, and Tati Westbrook. That was on every newspaper and that was on that every was magazine. Wild. And yeah, like it was just... Like, that I was, was wild. It was wild. Like yeah. it absolutely was, you know. So I think stuff like that now, like because like Shane Dawson doing this series with Jeffree Star, you'd be shocked as to how big this becomes, not just with other like fellow beauty followers yeah. and stuff like that, but with everyone yeah. you know everyone's interested in it which is just yeah no it is it's, it's good even I remember when the James Charles and Taddy Westbrook thing happened like even my boyfriend was like can we watch it <laughs> he was mad into it like, and I'd be like oh my god someone else put a video he's like quick put it on we're in the car and we had it like sitting over and watching <laughs> scandalous yeah because it was just so like you just want to know what's happening like yeah. it's just so shocking it is and that's the great thing about YouTube as well is that people can post a video and it's like this raw file of yeah. like here's my call out or you know here's Mons what I need filters, to say yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like yeah. it's not this kind of like pre-made perfect pristine yeah. like yeah. tv package it's a case of like you know them in their own studio they can upload it themselves you know yeah, so, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah I find that For that's sure. like that's great because yeah, I remember no, I think it was like James Charles apology was just so not his usual kind of like glossy video it was yeah. like so kind of etchy and like pixelated and he was yeah, just yeah, like yeah. oh here we go I'm sorry so on so forth so yeah yeah, it's very, it's, it's, it's all very interesting. It but is. yeah, I think there's eight parts to the series, is there? I, I yeah. hope so. Because <laughs> they're going to go into the so James good. Charles um, controversy. I saw it in the kind oh, of... Oh, are they? Yeah, I saw it in the like montage of what's to come for the for the series. They had James Charles and they were like, Tati Westbrook, like, this news is broke, blah, blah. blah. So, yeah, because yeah, that, yeah, that would have happened around the time they are filming. Because like, I think the last episode was like March, they said. I think so, yeah. And that happened just after Coachella, didn't it? Yeah. So, mm. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm mad for it now. I can't wait. Oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah. I'm jealous. You guys come back and watch all this. Like, I think this season so far nearly has 100 million views and there's only been three episodes. Oh my God. And they've literally is... only been released like two weeks ago. Oh yeah, it's absolutely insane. insane. But then kind of like, I suppose slightly on the same vein, we'll just talk briefly about, because you own your own business and you obviously work for yourself. How do you find, like, do you think there's a lot more pressure put on you to succeed when it's not when you don't have you know like a boss and you're not as part of a company yeah yeah I think you're accountable for everything really when you yeah. own your own business and it, like yourself you're doing the makeup like you have to do accounts you have to yeah. go meet in the bank you have to look after all your bills you have to deal with the landlord you have to do like all that is a full-time job as yeah. well as doing your actual job. skill yeah. your job like you know that to me is is the most overwhelming part of it but it has a lot of perks so you probably find that too like I take that any day over um maybe having my artwork controlled or anything like that you know because if you do work for someone you have to understand they're a business and they're trying to make money you know yeah and that was my experience with um working for shops in the past and um, or guest spotting in places and they're all great amazing shops and I had a great time I just felt like that there was a hammer put on me for the amount of time or I could spend with a client, you know, figuring out what they, what design they wanted or how they yeah. wanted it. Or maybe if it wasn't working, I could spend a little bit more time. But understandably so, certain business, you need, they need to make money. So time is money. So yeah. you can't, but whereas when it's my own business, I can spend, I can spend a whole day if I yeah. want. And yeah. I only have to answer to myself, you know. That's which it. Is, and it's your name as well. So you want to make yeah, sure that you're given your your You're 100% like, all everything. everything. Yeah. 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 That's how you succeed, I yeah, think. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, like I said, it has its, I suppose pros and cons, but it's 
it's well worth it. I, yeah, hundred percent. I feel anyway. and even for your creativity as well, because you can like you can donate as much time as you want, yes. and you can work things a certain way that you want. Because I I'd say if you are an artist, maybe underneath someone else, like do you kind of have to get like drawings approved, or do you have to make do you have to like double check with someone? Um, that wasn't when I was in, when I was apprentice um, and when I was in the earlier stages of it. Yeah, of course you would. You'd you'd want to get the go ahead from everyone. Yeah. Do you think I'm able to do this? And should I do it? Or what should I? You can get advice, you know. Um, as it went on, no, they're kind of like you're out on your own, you know. Just get this done, or you, you've this appointment at two, and now you've this one at four, and just get it done. And I'm like that tattoo's gonna take six hours. I'm not gonna have it done in two hours. Like there's just yeah. a lot of that. Um, but yeah, I think when you're working for yourself though, that is taken away from you. A lot of other stress is added, but like that stress, which is to me the most important because you can produce better work then. Yeah, That's my personal opinion. Other people might not feel the way, that way, but I do, yeah, so. Yeah, no, I'm kind of the same. Like it's, you're totally in control to do yeah. whatever you want to do. You set up your week the way you want it to be. Yeah. Like you make your own hours. If you need a Friday off, you make sure you get all your work done yeah. during that week to give yourself that Friday for off. Sure. And yeah. it, it is pressure because obviously like, you know, you have to have the motivation to get up and get yourself to work, do the work you have to do. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's how you live at the end of the day. But, like, it's so worth it. I yeah. couldn't. Like, I hope Instagram and all this world never actually ends because I don't know how I'm ever going to go back to doing <laughs> something, like, normal. Yeah. Do you think that that's something that does kind of linger over you? Like, do you, do yeah. you, think you sometimes think, like, well, like, what will I do next? Or do you try and, like, not leave that? I mean, I don't think about it, like, every day. But, yeah. like, sometimes, yeah, I do think, like, like, what happens tomorrow now if we all woke up and Instagram was gone? Like, what, where do we all stand? And that, in a way, I actually think it's a really good thought because it makes you realise, look, Instagram isn't everything. And, like, you know, you have to sometimes be like, okay, it's, it's the end of the day, it's a job. And, like, if this doesn't work out, you'll figure it out. Like, whatever's for you, it won't pass you, like, and it'll just happen. But, like, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon anyway. Yeah, no, and like, yeah. and like that, you know, if Instagram was to disappear in the morning, something else is going to take its That's place. That's what I you mean. Know? We're not all going to You'll be never sitting be left. here. Yeah. Like, I would, first of all, never know where to eat anymore. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. actually would know where to eat. That's what's really terrifying. Like, <laughs> because when I think of where I'm going to eat, I fully look at exactly each dish that I'd order. I look at like what the place looks oh, like, all through Instagram. Like all through Ooh. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, well. I can't remember the last time that I just like strolled down the street like, picking where I was going to yeah. eat. I actually can. Yeah, I know. But then it's like, I find it's great because you then, not only are you like paying the right money for what you want to eat, you're getting like quality and you're reading reviews yeah. and stuff. You're it, like, yeah, you long know what you're getting into. Are the days where you're kind of like, let's pray it's nice and we've spent like 50 quid on something that's shit, you know? Yeah, you, yeah. You know that you're getting a delicious meal or you know that like people that you follow have also ate there and they love it and you know, yeah. I think all that is kind of key, you know? Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I love Instagram for that as well. Yeah. Like, it's so good even just for, like, anything, just for inspiration for anything, for, like, holidays. Like, oh, I want to go there. That looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, holidays, places that you yeah. would never think of going to, you see it on Instagram, you're like, oh, my God, that looks unreal. Yeah. No, because like, I was only saying that um, recently. Lauren Arthur, she's in, like, Benidorm at the moment. Yeah. I was like, oh, I would have never thought of this place. I, mean, I, I actually unreal. was looking at that last yeah. night. I was on her bike. I was yeah. like, she looks unreal. Yeah. I was like, where is this? <laughs> Literally. But, yeah, 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 exactly. And even I find for um, outfits as well you know I'd have inspiration for like what I want to wear yeah um, mm -hmm. like any given day so that like stuff like that it's, yeah. it's amazing as well and then um, like do you find that you work longer hours as well because you work for yourself like is it hard to try and cap when you stop working yeah. and tell yourself like you've done enough today yeah. Yeah. I find it hard to switch off yeah because yeah, you're always on even like say I'm like filming all day or whatever and then I'll finish filming and then I sit down and then I edit and then I'll edit and then I'll go and check my emails and then mm. like because like you said you have all these other things not just it's not, not just, just doing that. tattoos yeah. not yeah. just doing makeup it's like you have all the other things that like run a business that you have to look after too so it's like trying to balance the time like yeah sometimes I find it very hard to switch off yeah I struggle a lot I'm actually really trying now just as of recently to pull back a little bit because you do find yourself totally wrapped up in it. Yeah. You find the same and it's like, geez, I haven't had a day off in like three weeks or I haven't seen my friends or I haven't. But when it's your own business, it's your baby. Like you don't, yeah. not enough hours is, is enough. And I think I like, way, like no one will ever understand. Like you, like, well, for me, I have this goal in my head that I want to get to. And I'm like, someone's like, oh, just like get off your phone. I'm like, yeah, but you don't understand. Like, yeah. I'm like, if I like get off my phone, I need to like, I'm not, it's going to, pull me back from where I want to I know I still have things in my head that I need to get done today and it's like 
to rest easy almost. Yeah, yeah like because it'll just be playing in my mind and I'll have my phone down and I'm just like, thinking about it. Yeah. It is a hard thing to explain to people. Yeah, actually. it is yeah. really, really hard. To someone recently, it's like you don't, you don't understand um, what it does to you when you have your own. And everyone's business is different, whether you're a makeup artist yeah. or a tattoo artist or yeah. whatever, or whatever, you know. Everyone has that because it's, it's, if you've built it from the ground up, like you actually are responsible for everything. And yeah. I know it's like recently. Well, when I say recently, like the past couple of years, like if I was out with my friends or I was somewhere and there was stuff to be done, I might as well have not have been there. My head wasn't Yeah. There. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what's the point? No, I don't want it to be always that way. But yeah. I think if you do want to make a mark, and the, f- the first couple of years are so important. Yeah. And I think if you just kind of sacrifice a little bit at the start. And as well, like, for me, I'm like, I've worked so hard to get to even just the point where I'm at yeah. now. And I was like, for me, where I'm at now is only like a fraction of where I want to yeah. be. And I'm like, what's the point in putting all that work into this just to not do it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And like, sleep in every far. day. Yeah. 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 I'm like, I might as well keep going. Yeah. And in 10 years yeah. time, I'll reap the benefits of it and then I can chill. Of course. <laughs> yeah, you're, that's exactly you know what what's mean? in like, my head as well, you yeah. know. And you do, you do lose things like yeah. along the way with it, but... Maybe it's meant to be that way, yeah, you know, yeah, like totally. it's, it's what you're gaining to me personally is so much more yeah. anyway, you know, so. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. No, mm. absolutely. Do you think though as well, it's important to like, to know your limits in the sense to like, say no, if you oh, actually yeah. are taking on too much. Yeah. Because I can, I'd say, you know, between like the influx of clients and then like, you know, with like, because I know myself a bit, but like with PR events and everything, like there is only so much you can yeah. do and there's only so much you can attend and there's yeah. only yeah. so much like, you know, one person, people you, you can know. take yeah. in. Yeah. 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 I think like at the very, very, very start, like, like I started Instagram 2013 like and when I started getting invited to things I went to absolutely everything and I think it's like so amazing to do that when you're like trying to get your foot into the door whereas like now like I'm really grateful that I still get invited to all these things yeah. but I, I really do rein it in because you'd be out every night of the week with the amount yeah. of stuff no, that's on won't. and you yeah. have to you have to sit down and be like right Aideen like do you want to go to this party which is like great and it's like obviously really good for meeting people or do you want to get your work done like because Without your work, you're not going you're not, to this no, party. You have to prioritize, so, yeah. yeah. Exactly, definitely. yeah. So, yeah, I definitely pick and choose now. Like, I go to the things that I really think are going to benefit me. Like, I'll I'll sit and look. I'm like, that sounds really good, but that's not going to benefit me in any way, job-wise yeah. or work-wise, whatever. So, I'm like, no. Mm. Like, thanks, but I have to, like, give it a miss. You have to be an entrepreneur in that sense, yeah. though, you know, because, yeah. like, although you would be grateful for all the opportunities, you have to think, like, at the end of the day, like, this is my livelihood and my job, and yeah. I need to give time to watch yeah. is very important and like at the end of the day people follow me for the content that I put out so I want to keep putting out that kind of content mm-hmm. rather than people I'm sure people don't care if I'm not a party having, yeah. a, having a yeah. Prosecco like <laughs> do you know what I mean like like the, the odd time it's fine but yeah. like yeah. I, that's not why people follow me like yeah. do you know what I mean yeah definitely yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying yeah. Yeah. 100% yeah is yeah. it the same with clients that you're kind of like I can't take in another one like yeah. I need to I I, should, I like I hate saying that. Yeah. And yeah. and also I'm very very aware of the people that have have been with me from the start, you know. Yeah. And I I'm doing like much bigger projects and stuff now, you know. And I'm taking on a lot more um, large scale work that like are, that I'm quite passionate about and that I want to do and that I do take to conventions and um, internationally, like yeah. you know. So that's really where like I'm kind of trying to push work at the moment and what I have been doing. Whereas. Um, Maybe these clients, you know, like from the early days, I do feel so loyal to, you yeah. know, I, they want me to do work in them that it, it's just my heart's not in that anymore, you know, and I've had to say, listen, you'll get, you'll get this done better, like by someone else. It's a different style to what I'm going towards at the moment, you know, and it's been fine, you know, yeah. but to me that like was like, oh God, like, you know, and I was like, if you ever want anything like, you know, that I'm really trying to push towards at the moment and then. Um, I'd be more than happy to, you know, but that was the hardest part for me was like yeah. kind of making the transition. But if you do want your work kind of to change and your influence to change and stuff, you do have to do that, I feel. Um, and yeah, it was hard to say no, like just to kind of minimalize the amount of people I was tattooing and like mm-hmm. it's more um, qual- quality of work as, yeah. as opposed to quantity, yeah. it, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was a bit tough. I think it was more me that was nervous about like kind of being like, listen, not taking anything like that on at the moment yeah, yeah. And, and they were like no it's grand but I just I felt really like they've been with me since the very very start you know and you don't want to say no to no anything. but obviously yeah. that that meant people have gone from 10 people to 100 people but you can't you can't say yeah to 100 people no, you can't yeah, do yeah. it you know so like like that you just have to kind of 
is this going to benefit me? Is this going to push me to where I need to go? You know, yeah. and you have to kind of make those decisions, which is a bit tough, especially yeah. if you're a yes person. I try to say yes all the time, yeah. but it's not good. Yeah, it's uh, it can be tough. But the thing yeah. is, is that you're both doing absolutely phenomenal, and you're both only on the way up. I know yeah. there's Aww, such thanks. exciting things to come, and yeah. I'm so glad that you got to join me here today. Thanks for it's having been, me. Um, it's been amazing. Yeah, your first ever Girls of Goals. You did yeah, absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Thanks for having but me. But Aidy and Kate, Neil Cunningham, thank you thanks so much for coming today. It was absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Bye.